113 runners got the Class 2A girls state cross country meet started at the Gordon Cooper Technology Center in Shawnee. Cordell's Berkeley Price went to the lead with her teammate Kylie Isbell, last year state champion Kaylee Kilpatrick from Warner, and Sharon Mutual's Harley Schmeling, all three about 25 yards behind the freshman. But no one was going to catch Price. Berkeley covered the 3,200 meter course in 12.09.72, which was good enough for a 20 second win. It's really awesome, it's a great feeling, and I just wanted to, my team is for everyone, and everyone that woke up at six o'clock every morning and came and ran with us and pushed us and I wanted to lead my team to a state championship and it was a great feeling and my grandpa was diagnosed with lung cancer this week and I wanted to win it for him. We knew what our goal was and that's what we wanted and we pushed every morning to get it and now we're here. Warner's Kaylee Kilpatrick came in second, Dibbles Brooke James was third, Kylie Isbell from Cordell fourth, Harley Schmeling from Sharon Mutual and Amy McFarland from Hooker were fifth and sixth. Amy's teammate from Hooker, Naomi Rodriguez, came in seventh. Laverne's Gina Baker and Katie Harrelson from Davenport were eighth and ninth, and Brittany Hammonds from Warner rounded out the top ten. Addie Clift from Kiowa came in eleventh. Jaden Brown from Boy City, twelfth. Velma Alma's Kaylin Wright was thirteenth. Indy Curl from Forgan, fourteenth. And Burlington's Sarah Garvey came in fifteenth. Cordell captured their first ever team state championship in girls cross country with Hooker coming in second. A co-op of Burlington, Cherokee, and Pond Creek Hunter was third and Boy City came in fourth. Next up, 114 runners were ready to conquer a 5K course in the Class 2A boys race. Isai Rodriguez from Ringwood looked good early in this one, opening up a 25 second lead over Velma Alma's Ty Hobbs and Woodland's Gage McKinney despite the fact that Isai played in a football game just a little over 12 hours before this race got underway. The deeper the runners got into the course, the wider Isai's lead continued to grow until the sophomore, who finished seventh at last year's state meet, ended up winning by one minute and 21 seconds when Rodriguez ran a 15.37. I never really imagined myself winning it this early. I was thinking maybe like senior year I could probably get close, but I just, thanks to God, yeah, I got first. He helped me and everything. I just tried to like stay up with the group, the first of the group, and see if they would get tired and just keep going. I wasn't trying to get far from them, but I guess I just kept going until I got tired, so, and just pushed at the end. Yeah, I mean, it feels good like, to know that you, you got first and everything. And, I mean, hard work pays off, I guess you could say. Hooker teammates Jose Amador and Roberto Barrios were second and third. Velma Alma's Russell Butler fourth. Oscar Diaz from Boy City came in fifth, just ahead of Ty Hobbs from Velma Alma, who was sixth. Gage McKinney from Woodland was seventh. Eighth through eleventh went to Goodwill's Christian Arbuthnot, Beavers Andrew Jesco, Canute's Ethan Franklin, and Quinton's Brad Davis. Silo's Dylan Gaskell got 12th. Tater Pugh from Riverfield Country Day came in 13th. Watonga's Anthony George was 14th and Warica's Mason Boyd finished 15th. Hooker won their second straight boys cross country state championship and fourth overall with Silo coming in second, Tonkawa third and Watonga was fourth.